See, it's difficult because when we're talking about dystonia, we're talking about a chronic, painful health situation. Okay, so how can you not, how can one not be up, somewhat obsessed with trying to heal this thing? But I've learned that this obsession to try to heal it actually makes the symptoms worse. Okay, here's why. Well, first I wanna, I wanna say, you see, not everything is supposed to be healed. You get, we, we gotta look at things on a, on a, on a broader picture sometimes, because it helps give some clarity and psychological comfort. <clears throat> those those who've, who've had chronic situations, we're talking about dystonia here, but there's many more, chronic pain and chronic mental health issues. And, you know, when the nervous system is imbalanced in a chronic way, it's heavy, okay? You know. But those have, that have had that, can you attest or testify that you've grown more in your character and in your spirituality than you probably would have if you didn't have that? You see, if life's just easy and we're just, you know, everything, you know, body's fine, got plenty of money, good relationship, where's the, where's, where, where's the motivation to actually look deep inside? There won't be any. So those who have had chronic uh, health issues, like dystonia, and after you've tried everything, something surrenders, usually. And something says, you know what, you might start talking to God, even. You know, universe, God, like, what, what's going on here? If you, is there a way that I can live peacefully with this? Because I, I've tried everything, I've, I don't have any moves left to make, I don't know what to do, like, I can't do anything else. And then your, you can say your real spiritual evolution was born. And you start to become aware of your subtle nature. And you might start to experience some serenity in the midst of symptoms. But, but most important, you're not self-talking all the time. See, when we're obsessed with looking for a, a cure or to be healed, there's so much self-talk going on around that. Where's the next doctor? I got to go on Google. I'm going to stay here all day and night. I got to find the right answer. What's going to happen? My life sucks. I can't enjoy life like other people. All that. I got to find a cure now. That obviously exacerbates your symptoms. When something relaxes and understands intuitively, like, wait a minute, I've been dealt these cards. It must be for a reason. Rather, whether or not I know it, I feel... Like, there's some deeper intelligence that's running this whole show. There's no accidents. There can't be. You can't say, yeah, God makes sense. He's doing all this good stuff. Obviously, there's God. But with this stuff, no, there can't be a God. No, he's doing everything. The problem is we don't have the mental bandwidth and capacity to understand. How can that situation be so terrible for us or for others or for a whole country, etc.? But intuitively, if one's willing to go there, we can find that there is some trust that everything's happening like it's supposed to be happening. And I feel a lot of people with these chronic situations, your higher self, before you were born here, before you came into this, your mom's womb, something, something's like the destiny. You wanted something that would provoke you and motivate you to really realize your highest purpose as a human being. Because this is the highest purpose as a human being. A being. To realize our spiritual nature, our, our undying nature. That there's a nature here, an essence here, that's not affected by the symptoms that the body has. This is everybody, everyone's purpose, but I feel those who have been dealt some heavy cards, you might have a better an advantage of realizing this purpose just because of motivation. So therefore, it's not that you're doing something wrong and that's why you're not being healed and, and you need to look harder. No, some things get healed, some things don't. It's not in everyone's destiny to heal every imbalance that, that your body has. It's just not. Nothing, there's certain, <laughs> there's certain destinies, nothing's gonna help you. No, nothing's going to cure you. There's always something that can help you. <clears throat> but nothing's going to cure you. There's no special magic pill or operation or, you know, 
positive thinking or something like that that's going to just wipe this out it might be your destiny some higher part in you wants to keep this around as a kind of inner zen stick to, to make your attention turn more inside more often so i would look at it like that and then when you <clears throat> when you somehow that that understanding can set you free and relax you and when that obsessive compulsive urge to look for answers and to you know, cure myself, I got to find the right thing. I mean, there's a million things out there nowadays, new things coming out every day that you can try. When something stops all that and relaxes, all of a sudden your symptoms might go down. All of a sudden, intuitively, you might know how to navigate this situation better than you did when you were obsessively looking for a cure. This is the paradox. This is, this is grace. This is the so-called miracle. And this channel is about helping one to discover that. This is what it's about. It's not about sharing things that are gonna, you know, <clears throat> wipe out this imbalance. It's not about curing, you know, restoring you back to default settings when you were a baby, no. Now, I do share tips to help reduce the symptoms, like the dry needling therapy, and I'm a big proponent of healthy lifestyle habits. What we eat, the environment that we live in, the company we keep, raising the vibration of our consciousness and, and of our body-mind. I'm a big proponent of that. For me, that's the real medicine. That's the real therapy. And then on the side, you have to see what works for you. I like dry needling therapy. Maybe massage therapy works for you or acupuncture or Reiki or something. That will intuitively be downloaded to you when we stop obsessively with our self-will looking for a cure. When something relaxes, our deeper intelligence can start to function. And then we can start to find things that maybe we wouldn't have found before, even if they were right outside our door. We might miss it because we're so caught up in our own, our own mental limited projections, we can't even sense things. So this is huge. The spiritual aspect of our of our being is, is very much necessary to get in contact with, okay? And don't have expectations, like looking at the clock, okay, it's been a year, I still have these symptoms. We gotta let go of that and trust that there's a deeper intelligence that's running this show. And there's a reason why this body has what it has. There's a very good reason for it. If we're not aware of it right now, that's okay. You can have faith that there's a good reason and you'll know when you're supposed to know. This is my message. All right, have a good day.